Hey guys, happy Saturday. Welcome back to another weekend prep video. <laughs> How are you guys? It is currently 6.30 a.m. on Saturday, and I thought I would take you guys along with me today as I get everything done. Well, I say I, but we, because uh, it's a whole family ordeal today, but as we get everything ready for Adam and I to go on our anniversary vacation tomorrow, we are going to uh, Colorado for five days, and I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done today. Obviously, the kids are going to be going to their grandparents' house, so I have to help them pack their stuff, and I have to take the dogs to the kennel. In fact, I made a to-do list last night because um, I was thinking in my head of all the things I had to get done, and I didn't want to forget anything. So I'm just getting the dogs' food ready. Um, I normally make their food homemade, um, but I am going to supplement it with some dry food today and then also while they're at the kennel so that I don't have to pack as much <laughs> of the fresh food because it's a lot for two dogs for five days. So let's get them fed. Okay, so the doggies are excitedly <laughs> eating their food. Last night I took the time to pack up all of their food for the kennel. So essentially... I have baggies split out for a.m. and p.m. for all of the days that they are there and the rest of their fresh food is in the freezer so I need to get that out. I need to pack probably some like treats or bones for them or something um, and then I can take them to the kennel at 8 which means I can leave here about 7.15. This was the list of things that I had to do today. Take the dogs to the kennel, make sure I grab their vaccine records because I feel like especially for Milo every time I go they're like do you have his vaccine records? Even though I sent them, <laughs> I don't know what happens to them. Um, I have to go to the bank. I have to help the kids pack their stuff. Um, I have to talk to Adam's parents about some things that they're gonna help us do while we're gone. Uh, take Connor to soccer practice, and or they're gonna take Connor to soccer practice while we're gone. And then I also um, have to make a lasagna today for Lasagna Love and deliver that. Connor has a soccer game. I have to film two videos that I'm working on, go to Walmart, clean out the fridge, do laundry, pack my suitcase, pack my laptop bag. I can't forget to pack up my meds to take with me. So lots to do today. Let's get started, shall we? So since I was so busy this weekend trying to get stuff ready to go out of town, I was very excited that I got a Green Chef box delivered earlier this week. And I wanna take a moment to thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. I have been working with them for so long here on my channel. They are actually one of my longest supporters and I truly love their meal kit service. I've been using it for years and I can really vouch for the fact that when you are a super busy working mom like myself, they come in so handy, especially to lessen the mental load uh, of meal planning and grocery shopping. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and they have options for every lifestyle. That is what I love about them. They have so many options for meal kits. They have keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. So no matter what your diet is, they will definitely have a meal kit for you. I'm going to share with you guys what I am making out of my box this week, which is a barbecue glazed meatloaf, which is delicious. But if you want to try out Green Chef, I will leave my link in the description box below. You can use my code JenChapin135 to get $135 off across five boxes. Plus, you'll get free shipping on your first box. You can go to greenchef.com for more details or use the link in the description box below and the code is jenchapin135. All right, so I'm gonna unload the dishwasher and load it with the dishes in the sink. One, two, three. All right, if only, if only it were that easy. All right, here we go. Here we go, doggies. Where's my phone? Do you have it? I tried to put Milo in the kennel in the back. He was not liking that like at all. You guys stay back there because you're dangerous. All right, so 
I just <laughs> dropped the dogs off at the kennel. We don't really have a place in town that, I mean, we have like an overnight kennel in town, but they're not the best in terms of like socializing the dogs and playing with them and stuff like that. And especially if we're gonna be gone for a while, I'd rather have them be somewhere that is more of like a full service place. So anyway, hauling two dogs in the car is no freaking joke. So I tried to, I bought this like back seat cover thing and I tried to put Murphy back there while well, he immediately jumped over it into the front seat, like, which is fine. Murphy can sit in the front seat. He doesn't do anything. He just sits there. Milo, on the other hand, <laughs> hasn't been in the car enough to understand that he needs to like sit down. And of course he's a puppy, so he's like full of energy. So I got this like um, kennel. It's basically like a nylon kennel. I just got it at Walmart. And I put it in the back of my car, like in the hatchback part or the trunk, not the trunk, you know what I mean. I have a crossover. And <laughs> I put him in there with a blanket and a chew toy. And oh my gosh, he was not having it. I got like five miles down the road and he was like howling and crying. So I was like, all right, he can sit in the back seat in this little cover up thing. And then Murphy can sit in the front with me. Well, he kept trying to jump over into the front seat too, but anyway we got it figured out so okay uh, I have to drive home it's about 40 minutes home so I'm gonna do that but first I'm gonna stop and get a coffee and probably some breakfast have a check to deposit yep Jennifer Chapin yes please thank you I am just checking things off my to-do list left and right went to the bank went to Walmart gotta go home go to Connor's soccer game So I'm back home now. Uh, I just made lunch for everyone. Connor and his team won their soccer game, so that's super exciting. I'm getting ready to uh, put a lasagna in the oven now for um, someone that I'm delivering a meal to today. So I need to get that in the oven within the next like 15 minutes <laughs> so I can bake it and then have time to deliver it by around 4 p.m. Okay, so in this bowl, I've got some ricotta, one beaten egg, and some Parmesan cheese. And I like to use equal parts of cottage cheese and ricotta when I do my um, lasagna. So I'm gonna add one carton of cottage cheese. And then I don't add any salt to this because I feel like the Parmesan is salty enough. So I'm just gonna add some Italian seasoning and then I can go ahead and assemble the lasagna. Okay, so I added some uh, meat sauce to the bottom of my pan and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my lasagna noodles. Today I'm using the no boil lasagna noodles. Um, I kind of switch back and forth between these and the traditional ones. It just depends on what I have on hand. With the no boil noodles, you do have to make sure that you add a little bit more sauce just because they're dry. So they will tend to soak up a little bit more of the sauce and you don't want your Obviously you don't want your lasagna soupy, but you don't want it too dry either. So I put on a layer of ricotta. Next, I'm gonna put on another layer of the meat sauce. And then I just like to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese in the layers, because you know, why not? You never have too much cheese. And then start again with the noodles, ricotta, sauce, mozzarella, continue. Okay, 
so once I add the final layer of noodles, then I can just pour some additional sauce over the top. And if it looks like the noodles are too small for the pan, that's totally okay. They will obviously expand as this bakes. And a lot of times, um, if I'm gonna bake this covered, especially if I'm gonna bake it for like an hour or so covered, I wait to put the um, mozzarella cheese on the top till the end. So I'm just gonna make sure I have plenty of sauce on here. I'm gonna cover this with foil, put it in a 400 degree oven for uh, probably about 45 to 55 minutes. Okay, so I'm also going to bake some garlic bread for uh, our lasagna love family. But I want to put it in a disposable tray, obviously, so I can take it to them. So I'm just gonna bake this in here like this uh, with the lasagna until it's done. All right, so our lasagna is done. I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up and then we've got our garlic bread back here. I've got a box that I'm gonna put this in so I can deliver it. All right, I'm gonna get a coffee on my way because I drink way too much coffee. Welcome to my life. <laughs> okay, so I'm checking my to-do list. Um, what do I need to do? Okay, so I'm doing the lasagna right now, filming a video. I would say I have about 40% of my to-do list items done. It is 4 p.m. and I wanna go to bed by 10 p.m. So I think, I think we can get her done. What do you guys think? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so yesterday I went and harvested all of the basil off of my basil plant on my back deck and I want to make some pesto. But I wanna see how much I have because this recipe that I'm using is from the America's Test Kitchen Complete Make Ahead Cookbook. Classic basil pesto calls for two cups of basil. So I'm gonna put this in here and see just exactly how much I've got. Okay, so that gave me just right at four cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and double the recipe. All right, pesto. I've got my food processor. I need about a quarter cup of parsley, which I'm definitely not measuring. I'm just gonna put in some leaves. Hi. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna add half a cup of pine nuts. What are pine nuts? They're little nuts. <laughs> Six cloves of garlic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. Okay, and I'm just gonna pulse this a little bit. We're gonna add our basil. We have basil, parsley, pine nuts, garlic. Uh, oh. Okay, and then. Go ahead and turn on. Do you want me to take it off? Okay, pull pull out the little circle. We're gonna put the oil in. We get, we're gonna have 14 tablespoons of olive oil. All right. Now what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can you put one pixel in? Can we put what? One pixel in? No. <laughs> Goofball. Okay. So I have to dump all of that. So I need you to turn, push the on button, and then as it's running, you're gonna slowly pour this into that hole. Can okay? you put the on button? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, I thought you meant, like you had to hold it, slowly pour it in. When Is I, that broccoli? It's basil pesto. Mm, I thought I meant broccoli. <laughs> Okay, and this doesn't have to be mixed up very much at all. So just go boop, boop, boop. Yep, that's good. Okay, okay. You wanna taste it? You think it needs some salt? I think it's too greasy. Well, it's got oil in it. I think it needs to be less spicy. The basil is a little bit. Now taste test. I wouldn't say it's spicy, it's just a little bit pungent. All right, are we gonna put the in garlic jar. in? I already put the garlic in there. Actually, the garlic is kind of what makes it spicy too. So I've got a small container here. I think this will hold it all. Um, the recipe says it makes three quarters of a cup, so I, I'm guessing that this should make about one and a half cups. The thing, the good thing about pesto too is like, if you have a lot of basil to use up, like it's gonna frost <laughs> like it is here you can uh, freeze it. 
so then obviously you won't waste it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the fridge. And there is a recipe I'm gonna use it for later today for a different video. Okay, so before I get started on cooking dinner, I wanna make sure you guys know about the coupon code that Green Chef is giving my viewers and why I love using them so much. If you are low on time, they have tons of options and they now also have 10 minute lunches available on the menu every week. So that is super awesome. One thing I really love about them is delivery right to your doorstep allows you to skip the grocery store with pre-portioned ingredients and pre-made sauces it makes cooking super easy on busy weeknights and they now offer more variety and flexibility than ever before with more options and more flavor now they have 30 weekly recipes to choose from and you can continue to have the option to mix and match meals from different preferences for example order vegan one day and keto the next if you guys want to try out Green Chef, once again, I highly, highly recommend them. You can use my code JenChapin135 to get $135 off across five boxes. Plus, you'll get free shipping on your first box. You can go to greenchef.com for more details. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start sort of prepping this stuff for dinner. So, like I said, Green Chef is coming in clutch <laughs> this weekend. They are seriously my favorite meal kit. I'm going to make these barbecue glazed meatloaves. First off, I'm gonna trim the ends off these green beans and get them washed. So I'm gonna mix up the meatloaf as well. So I'm gonna crack my eggs into this bowl, whisk those up. I'm gonna add the breadcrumbs, some barbecue sauce. I am going to roast this garlic in the oven to go with the mashed potatoes. So I've got the garlic cloves there on a little piece of foil. I'm gonna sprinkle them with a tiny bit of salt. And then it basically just wrap this up in a little packet and we'll put it in the oven when we make the meatloaf so we've got our potatoes ready to go our green beans are ready to go meatloaf and then i get questions a lot on like what do i do if not everyone likes the same thing for dinner well here is a uh, an example and by the way i'm using disposable pans because we're getting ready to go on vacation and i don't need all the di <laughs> all the dishes um, so Kira doesn't really prefer ground beef, so instead for her, I just have some chicken breasts in a pan here. I season them on both sides with some barbecue rub and just drizzled a little bit of barbecue sauce on top. So I'm going to bake these covered in the oven um, with the meatloaf. They won't take quite as long um, as the meatloaf, but then she'll have uh, a protein and I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in the oven and then probably go start packing some stuff. Okay, so here is my plate. Everything turned out so good. Here is the barbecue meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and I put the roasted garlic into the mashed potatoes when I mash them up at the end, green beans. So uh, definitely looking forward to eating this tonight. If you guys wanna try Green Chef, I'll have a link and a coupon code in the description box below. All right, so got Connor's stuff packed up to go to grandparents house I thought I was over the baby stage you know where we have multiple bags but <laughs> of course not so I got his overnight bag with all of his clothes in it of course I had to get his soccer bag with his shin guards and shoes and socks and water bottle and Gatorade and then I got his school bag so should be good to go all right so it's 9 p.m. I just got done filming this epic video it's gonna be freaking amazing. If you have seen it, hopefully you think so. So now I have to clean up the kitchen, which I don't, I don't feel too bad about. I gotta put the dishes in the dishwasher, uh, but I did clean out the fridge, so that was good. Um, I basically got rid of any produce that would go bad while we were gone, and then tried to preserve as much as I could. If there was fruit that I could freeze, I put it in the freezer. If there was meat I could freeze, I put it in the freezer. Um, but I've got some ingredients here that hopefully will stay for, I don't know, the next five days or so, some veggies and things like that. 
put some soda in there so we would have cold soda when we got home restocked water applesauce reorganized those drawers so at least we should have some food when we get home and i've got a bunch of room in here to go ahead and put my uh, jar salads flight's already delayed for tomorrow morning seems like it's starting off awesome 45 in the morning and I'm happy to report that I got most of my to-do list checked off yesterday. In fact, I think I only had one thing that I didn't get done. So we're getting ready to go to the airport. Thank you so much for coming along with me this weekend. I hope you um, had fun <laughs> watching me try to pack way too many things into one day. Hopefully you were motivated as well. Thanks again to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out that coupon code and the link down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.